Okay, 250 years of slavery and Candace Owens and Larry Elder walk the planet. We will pray and pray that Larry Elder will never be governor. Larry Elder thinks because he has a microphone in front of him that what comes out of his mouth is going to make a lot of sense. But that's not true at all. What comes out of his mouth on the issue of reparations shows that he is very unknowledgeable. And he should know enough to do some research before he starts running his mouth. So 250 years of slavery, 90 years of Jim Crow, and I repeat, we have Candace Owens and Larry Elder, two people who that when they sit in front of a microphone, their brain just automatically turns off and they let anything they want to just come out of their mouth. Larry Elder does no research at all. He does not do enough research on the subject of reparations, and he knows nothing. This man should not be the governor of California. He should not be the governor of anything. Sixty years of separate but equal. Sixty years of separate but equal. And who do we have? We have Candace Owen and Larry Elder. They sit in front of a microphone and assume that what comes out of their mouths will make sense. But what comes out of their mouths makes no sense at all. We have these two people. Larry Elder should not be the governor of California. The man is worthless. 35 years of racist housing policy. 35 years of that. And we have Candace Owens and Larry Elder, who every time they sit in front of a microphone, they think that they're gonna make sense. They assume that what comes out of their mouths will be wonderful stuff. But Larry Elder knows nothing on the subject of reparations, nothing. Obama said reparations was hard. That's why Obama was a lousy president, a very lousy president, worthless. It was hard, but some of the most beautiful things that we do are hard. And Obama said reparations was too difficult. Until we reckon with our compounding moral debates, America will never be whole, and we still have crazy people like Candace Owens and Larry Elder walking around. Insane people who when they sit in front of a microphone, they assume that everything is going to make sense. And it does not. When they sit in front of a microphone, they assume that wisdom is going to come from their mouths. But it doesn't happen at all. And on the subject of reparations, those two are woefully incredibly ignorant. I'm through.